Well, here we are again on day 7,000, set up for an insane nightmare horde with max zombies at 64. In the last uh, House Flipper episode, I said it was too easy. So I've decided to take guns entirely out of the equation and go with what some may consider the weakest melee weapon in the game. Okay, so I'm doing an intellect build. Mostly. So I've got five points into Electrocutioner, five points into Robotic in Inventor. I do have other points elsewhere. I do have three points into Flurry of Blows. I think that's the only thing I have in Agility. Yep, looks like it. In Fortitude, I do have five points in Pain Tolerance, and all the recovery perks are maxed out along with fortitude itself and strength i've got sexual tyrannosaurus heavy armor and pack mule maxed out reason i have pack mule maxed out is so i don't have to use armor pocket mods like a triple armor pocket mods and all that for carrying capacity not that i really need it this is all i have for horde night i am going to repair stuff I'm going to get really drunk, and I'm going to use nerd tats. Okay. Oh, I probably should put some pants and a shirt on, too. I'll do that before Horde, and I'll bore you with it. What we have here is a Horde base made in Alpha 19, same as the last House Flipper episode, Codger's House. It was built at the same time by another player, and I exported it because it was a lot of fun. It's just another brute force base designed to take advantage of a melee opportunity and i do have two uh sledge turrets here and all there is is this window protecting us now it looks like wood in there but that's just painted those are actually steel everything here is steel so there's no point in pointing out any other differences so what i do is i just shut myself in here and wait for zombies to come up. There's two different staircases. There's ladders out the front. This one's a little weirder. It's not exactly symmetrical. I didn't build it. But really it doesn't matter that it's not symmetrical. It really doesn't impact the playability of the base. There is a way up here. Into the little box. And there's a way up top to see our beautiful American flag. This, I think, originally had a uh, like a generator or something in it, but we're not going to use any traps. I don't do traps. I don't like traps. Maybe I'll do something like that someday just to prove I know how to use them. But beyond that, I don't like them. So this is just a brute force base. It's designed a little bit to make the... AI come to you to this area and then they get bonked off and maybe you get some hits in. But this thing is plated. It's blocks with plates on the outside wherever they can be. As you can see there's one there. Pretty obviously. And there's plates around it to give it a little added protection. Okay, because brute force bases they tend to start smacking everything, blowing up and all that. So there you go. So we're just going to do a horde with a stun baton. No guns, just some repair kits, a nail gun to repair, and some buffs. I do have the iron gut thing maxed out. I think that, uh, let's take a look at that real quick. Where is that? That's an agility. Nope, it's in fortitude. Iron gut, if you go down to level 5, plus from consumables last 50% longer. So that'll give me a little bit more time. And all these buffs, I decided to increase them because this is going to be a melee only with a stun baton on an insane nightmare max horde in the wasteland with, let's see where we are, players with max game stage and max level. All right, so let's get into the horde. I should note that my stun baton... Is maxed out with mods. 
And my armor, as per usual, is maxed out with mods. I'm going to take some vitamins right now to avoid being infected. And we're going to start taking some nerd tats right away. We'll think on the moonshine for now. Moonshine doesn't last that long, so I don't want to use it before there's zombies here. And we're already getting guys coming through. It's a problem with these types of bases nowadays. Zombies glitch through. We may end up having to do this one on foot, as per usual, but that'll make it exciting. Let's see what we can do right here, though. Not working out so well, as you can see. So we're going to get out of here and see if I can do this on foot. That type of base doesn't work anymore. Okay, let's get out some, uh, this is a good time to get drunk. And as you can see, it makes it really hard to see things. <laughs> but if I hit, actually connect with something, it's going to do a lot of damage. We're going to have to do a lot of spinning around. I don't know about you, but I'm aiming for the one in the middle. Nerd tats are great. They do send things flying back. I think the only way we can uh, beat this horde right now is on the ground. Because they're just going to get through that little box up there. But what we can do is we can lead them up through here. And maybe they will get bonked. Yeah, I do have a broken... Uh, something. I didn't really look. But that's not going to stop us. The question ain't how many zombies we can kill, it's how many... The question ain't how many zombies we can kill, it's how long we can actually survive this nonsense. That was a good hit. And I'm bleeding again. That's all right, though. Okay, we're pretty hurt, <laughs> as one would expect. Okay, we hit the button. That did help. That's actually a good strategy. Okay, I swung for the wrong uh, thing. Problem with the moonshine is that. It's hard to see what you're aiming at. Let's get them up here for some more box. That's a good hit. And I got a broken leg again. That's up quite all right. I'm gonna take another nerd tack because what the hell? Okay, we got another explosion going on, which is a good thing in this case. I'm bleeding again. Who would have thunk it? 
I am max out in cardio. So we do regain stamina pretty good, and we do regain health pretty good. Let's get him up here for another bonk or two. Yeah, they've already broken through there. <laughs> well, come on, you guys. Let's get some bonks in. Okay, we don't have the moonshine running for us anymore, so we can actually see what we're hitting. All this talk about being cooked because your base fails. Eh. I'm actually surviving pretty well, considering. Can I survive the whole night? Ah, uh, maybe. Yeah, we'll try using the demolishers to our advantage because that is an aspect of the game. We've got a cop to explode too. Of course, I've suffered an abrasion. If we need to get, well, I was gonna say, if we need to get back up there for some protection, we could, but it, they got an opening. A lot of this is just me running. <laughs> okay, we can get that cop to explode. That'd be handy. Okay, let's get drunk again. Let's just do one though. We got some lumberjacks out there apparently. I'm bleeding again. <laughs> Who would have thunk it? Now I do got more than five health kits or first aid kits. So let's quickly bring them down. And we got a sign here. I'm trying to stay out of the actual wasteland. Part of the wasteland. We'll see how many kills we got at the end of this. I'm bleeding again. That's going to be a common theme, I think. Okay, little things like that are quite useful. Damn it. Damn it, you rotten, no good. Okay, I really need to get that first aid on there right now. A deep laceration, we can fix that. Now we're going through first aid kits like nobody's business. But, you know, when you're maxed out on things, you would have all this crap, so if you wanted it, let's get back to that. It says I'm drunk as shit, no kidding. I'm not a drinker in real life, just looking at that stuff would m probably make me drunk. Abrasions, I'm not worried about that crap. The bleeding thing, though, yeah, a little bit. So the thing is about the brute force melee bases. At that uh, gate or door or opening at the base, it was plated underneath. And all the zombies did was like uh, glitch through, crawl through. And that's been the problem with the horde. Or the, not the horde, but the hatch bases in 20. They glitch through. Well, that was pretty good. Looks pretty dynamic being drunk. 
Okay, we got one to explode, which is fine. That kind of helps out. I think I can survive this. As long as I avoid creeps like that. Okay, that does help. Yep, that clears them out good. So that gives me a bit of a breather. Okay, let's get some more nerd tats in us. I think I still have it going, but we'll see. Yep, it was still going. Let's get a little drunk again. A little drunk, more like a lot drunk. Now, this whole thing is a bad decision, this whole night. <laughs> so, I'm not going to try to make any extra ones. Deep laceration also means I'm bleeding. It's alright though. Yeah, the demolishers have done pretty good work over here, which is all right. So, if you want to do a brute force base, you need to have it completely blocked up. Otherwise, they're getting through and they'll probably still glitch through at times. We are taking a pounding tonight, though. I could have taken a steroid to mitigate the damage I'm taking from just running around, but I didn't think of it. And it, honest to God, what difference does it make? Okay. So we're just back to regular fighting here. The nerd tats, what they do, if you didn't know. It's because uh, using the nerd tats, when you get the the electrocution effect, it affects more than one zombie. It affects like a an area. It's an area of effect kind of a uh, thing. Sorry if I'm stumbling for words, but I'm trying to concentrate on the game too. Okay, we're bleeding out again. All right, we need to take our last. Well, that's it for bandages. We are cooked on that front. But we're getting to near the end. We do have other things, like uh, painkillers. Which gives us instant health, but it doesn't stop a bleed. Yep, and there we go. We'll take our painkiller. Hopefully we can survive without any... We, nope, we don't have any. So, if we die, we die. But maybe we can check this bag. Maybe that'll have some first aid. Nope. Well, I have really good healing, so... That might help. That might be the thing that saves us. Let's get back over the horde base. Get some bonks in over here. I figured I'd end up on the ground tonight just because I figured that would fail to see. You can see here the plates. If you filled that in with iron bars or something, you could use it, I think, and repair it quick enough. It's actually a little easier without the...
It's actually a little easier without the Grandpa's Moonshine. I want to get back more towards the Horde base. So the Horde base itself was a fail. But the Knight, I think we might make it. Now look at that. Tell me that ain't effective in some way. I'm out of stamina, which is odd. Let's give ourselves some water. Maybe that'll help the stamina a little bit. Of course, we probably lost a little bit of our uh, skill points because of the deep laceration. We'll take a look maybe at the end. Look at all those zombies, holy buckets. Seems to me you just need skills to pay the bills and a decent amount of planning and you can beat a horde with damn near any weapon on ground. You don't need the most intricate horde base. Okay, I'm out of stamina here. So I need to collect that up a little bit. I'm bleeding again. But as you can see, look at my health. I have really good healing factor. It kind of negates it. There. It's almost over. If I make it to four, I'm calling it a win. Because that's essentially the end of the horde. I guess if we die before everything's cleared out, we'll call it a tie. Yeah, I'm going to take some uh, painkillers. Well, I can't use it because it's already... Uh, i got to wait for the timer to run down. But we're going to get a little drunk again and get rid of these bastards. Get rid of the remaining ones. It might take a while. Well, that really kills the frames. <laughs> this I might be here a while. I'm gonna have to edit some of this out. Okay, hopefully we can get one of those to blow up. Come on, guys, come blow up. There we go.
Okay, we're down to the last couple of zombies. It took damn near forever. I'll probably edit some of it in, but what I did was I kept running them around here. I actually got them trapped back in the base a little bit between the door and the sledge turrets, and they were taking a beating. But these two damn bears showed up. I think one of them's dead. There's still a couple of zombies there, but we're down to the last bit. I'm up on top of the horde base right now, so I really need to collect my thoughts here. But I ran out of first aid. I checked a lot of bags for, like, first aid. I think I found one first aid bandage. But I've taken pills. I've taken, uh... Drank some water. I've eaten some gumbo to keep my health up. I was pretty close to dying. So, the last two zombies aren't dead. We, I think they're the last two. Man, I think they were part of the horde. They could just be rando zombies that showed up. I think the bears are dead now. I think the turrets did them in. I probably didn't get a lot of kills tonight. Okay, and that's... I still hear the music. But I don't see any threats. I think there's a snake around. Snake is definitely not part of a horde, so we're going to put the DM mode on. Alright. And we're going to pause the AI. So we don't have any interruptions here. Let's take a look at my inventory, because I did pick up a lot of stuff. I did use a steroid that was in here. Um, I think that's about it, but this is what we picked up so far. A lot of ammo, a chainsaw schematic. But the real interesting thing here that I did tonight, I think I proved once and for all that you don't need to have an intricate horde base to survive a horde night. You just need the skills to pay the bills. Now, I'm not going to say I'm the best player, but... All means, God, no, I am not. But, nope, well, I could put it on God mode. It don't really matter anymore. AI is off. The horde base was a fail. Are there any more bags around? I think I did pick them up all up through the night, except for maybe that one. Or they despawned. You could juice recipe, but nothing fantastic. And we're in the wasteland, so let's take a look at... We only got 51 kills. So basically... It wasn't a success in the amount of zombies we killed. We hardly killed any at all, as a matter of fact. But we did survive. We did prove that we could survive a horde without dying. We came close, but we survived. Now I'll give it guns and get that thing up there, the opening blocked up. Yeah, I think this is doable. Our American flag survived. That's great. But we did survive it. And that's what I was set out to prove. I set out to prove that you could survive a horde on max difficulty with the barest of weapons, more or less. The stun baton isn't meant to be a big killer. It's meant to be more of a support weapon in hordes. Now, if all those hordes... We're all stun-locked because of one person with a stun baton in a multi-pillar setting. The other people with the guns would pick them off like nothing, okay? It's really not meant to be a horde-based weapon. If you were using a complete intellect build, yeah, you would use traps and fight off things that way and get a lot more kills that way. So, I set out to prove what I wanted to prove. That... You just need the skills to pay the bills. All this malarkey about Day 7000 Insane Max Horde is exactly that. It's malarkey. You can beat a horde however you want to be a, beat a horde. If you're determined enough to do it. I think Glock9 proves that daily. Every time he does a video. For the most part. We all have moments where we get caught off guard and make a mistake and then you know, end up dead. But... Here we are. 
At the end of day 7,000, survive the horde. Not a stellar success in a lot of ways, but overall an overwhelming success because I proved you could do it. Anyways, this has been Cottager. You can follow me at Rider Codger Game. I want to remind all bikers to ride safe and keep the shiny side up. I want to remind everyone else to live their best life. And to everyone, please thank a veteran or active service member for their service. They have earned your respect and gratitude. Have a great one. Man, what bike do I ride? The fat boy? Or the low rider? I don't really know. Probably the fat boy. The low rider's a lot of fun, but I'll tell you what you can do. You can like, comment, and subscribe, and share. While I try to decide which one I'm gonna ride. It's the best problem to have. <laughs>